Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me as I try to show off the best in modern retro gaming. Today we are continuing our journey in Coromon, an awesome uh, monster training game. This is the demo that is out right now and is available on Steam. It is a lot of fun and I highly recommend it. We are now trying to go up through the power tower and get the essence of one of the Cormon Titans. And we have some battles to do. Are you heading for the Titan? Good luck getting past our security measures. So it's 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 very much a, a standard uh, monster training game and we come in and we you know you have your trainer battles you have your um, uh, random encounters all that stuff um, that is an electric type Pokemon uh, these are both I believe cutting uh, attacks I'm having a lot of fun uh, trying to figure out the you know the Cormon um, the you know their abilities how the different um 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 wow that worked very good um double slap did that do any good uh eh, almost got him very effective but his hit i really don't want him to be knocked out so we're gonna switch up here to powder bit uh but yeah you you got your random counters you got your evolutions you've got you know, it's very much your standard, um, you know, uh, monster training game, but it's a lot of fun because I'm having a lot of fun discovering the individual Cormons, their powers, their abilities, how certain powers work um, against or are very effective against other powers. Um, I'm very excited about trying to find and, and uh, learn the evolutions of the different Cormon, so um, this is quite a, a fun uh, game here. Uh, my pattern built is a robot. Let's go speed, HP, and attack. Let's go for that. Uh, there's a few of them that I really have a plan for. All oh, right, another uh, another evolution. Armado is evolving into something he's like an armadillo so what is he going to turn into oh uh, like a big an armadillo oh that's pretty cool looking so that's exciting so he's going to throw out his another one an auto g is one of the worst uh auto g has a really cool power uh he has voodoo which does not hit the Cormon that's out, but hits one of the Cormon in your uh, party instead. And it is a very effective and very frustrating um, um, power. And I'm gonna switch up to someone else because we need to get him out as quickly as possible or all of my Cormon, I can't switch to anything because they're all hit with that voodoo. Um, hopefully, the electricity is going to be able to uh, do better. Um, it got damaged. He can actually KO your um, Cormon um, with with the use of voodoo. Um, so yeah, you really got to be careful on that one, and it is very dangerous. Although, where I am right now is not really that bad uh, because we're going up through the power tower. We are, there's no random encounters. We're just going through the um, trainer battles. They're not really, tra they're, they're I mean, not every bit is a trainer in this game, which is kind of neat. Um, Baser is, um, shoot, okay, no, he was, I use a lot of his special attack, so we're gonna do special attack and attack, I think, and he's a, he's like a big beetle, so let's do a little bit of defense, too, um, I'm trying to think of, like, what the Cormon is, and then how to, 
put that into its stats as I'm able to. Uh, so like my armad uh, armadillo now is a um, like an armadillo strong uh, protective, you know, that sort of thing. So I am making him a high defense character. Um, so there's no, um, um, random encounters. We're just going up through the security. Yeah. Like I was saying, not everybody's a trainer here. Um, so hmm, what do I want to do? What items do I have? I got quite a bit of money. Yeah. We got some HP cakes. Let's go ahead and heal some of these up a little bit. Yeah. And then... Because we have a little bit of money to be able to fill these guys up. So let's do that. That was quite a bit, actually. Um, yeah, so not everybody's a trainer. Some people are security or, or bad at, actual bad guys here. And we have to figure out and fight them and, and you know, um, get through whatever needs to be. And I'm trying to figure out which way I want to go. Um, I usually go to the open area, but I see that little box there. I really want to see what's inside that box. That did not help me at all. Can I go up this way? Ooh, is that like a little mail thing? Nope. Like, I wonder if I can get something in there. Okay, so we're going to have to go. What happens if I get on that one? Hey, oh no, I didn't even see that guy there. Oh no. Um, security uh, personnel there. Oh, a sand scale he's he's a, a very tough guy uh, although I don't have electricity here so that's gonna be unfortunate uh, electricity is actually very effective against sand types or is it the other way around I think it's the other way around now that I think about it I think sand types are very effective against electric so I'm not sure um, what these are how these you know work against each other here we go. We're taking him out pretty easy, but we're going to be low on SP if we're not careful. Uh, not too bad. Not always oh, shocked and couldn't move. That shocked effect stays on until he's cured. So even though I'm in another battle, uh, the it still affects him until he's either I give him something that uh, like I have items here. Do I have something that takes the shocked off? Um, detox and a ground cake. So I could use the ground cake to take, go ahead and take the shock off. Also, you can use a, uh, if you go back and heal the core mon, uh, it would remove any kind of, um, uh, you know, of the, what's the word? Uh, the things against them. I can't think of the word. I'm trying to, um, not like a bonus, but a negative attribute to them. Oh, we're almost up to. Oh, Evolvo. I've never seen him. Oh, that must be. You have a starter that's a fire Cormon that looks a lot like him. So I bet you anything that's the evolution of him. That's pretty cool. Cinder. I don't know if it's going to hurt him really bad. I think it did. Double slash. We're going to have to uh, switch out here with Patterbit. I'm not sure what's going to be particularly effective against the fire type. Um, I would think a water type might be, uh, but I don't have any water type in my... Um, uh, my first, my starter was a water type, but I ended up trading him out for something else because I was in an area that had a lot of sand types and it was, uh, he, he was getting knocked out really uh, quite a bit. So I switched him out. I would like to have him actually. Uh, he was a pretty cool, effective uh, character. Electricity was really good against the sand. Uh, electricity was against good against my water. And my water was good against the sand, but there was a lot of electricity in that particular area. So I switched him out. Armadillo's up now up to 19, which is awesome. And he got some of his potential. So like I said, he's going all out 
uh, defense and HP for him. Um, hopefully that's going to be able to allow them to miss. I don't know if it's going to allow them to miss or um, they just get hit less often. Uh, so we'll have to kind of check that out. I wanted to know what that was. Ooh, a Dora fruit. Okay. So if I go that, that's going to take me over and out. I don't really want to do that. I can go back over this away and get what's in here. Gold. That's awesome. There was nothing up there. So let's go back here and I'm going to go down. Ooh, hello. Hello, Mr. Trainer. How are you? Should we battle now? Yes, we should. Oh, he only has one, but I bet you have someone. Something's... Oh, a pitter bite. Ha ha. I have a pitter bit, and now there's a pitter bite. A... That bit bite. That's funny. Oh, we don't want to fight him. Um, Let's go with... He's a level 20. That's going to be a hard fight. Let's go with Slitherpin. Um, I'm not sure if the poison will be uh, particularly helpful or not against the robot patter bit. Patter bite and patter bit. I love that. That's I love puns. They're so good. Uh, the great thing about Slitherpin is he has this absorb, which allows him to take... Um, uh, that might not do good here. Um, health drain off uh, energy or HP off of uh, the person and put it back on him. However, that's not going to go well. Um, I'm going to take a bite on him and hopefully that he gets poisoned before I get knocked out. Ugh, unfortunately, that was not the case. Um, the good thing about um, the this area is you know is the, there's no random battles so i can go back to the city and get healed up pretty easily um he is pretty high above me i haven't ran into a spot where i really needed to um shoot there goes Moffle. that's not good um uh, where I had I didn't need to grind any but considering that she had one this person had one I'm assuming that that's um, uh, you know why is that they're using you know she oh that was not very good at all Ugh. Um. yeah I'm thinking, thinking she's it's hard or error. Um, I want to try this and see because it's a different type. Maybe the cut type is going to hurt him more. Um, but because she had only one, I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit stronger of a Coromon. Uh, that's kind of what my think thought is here. Don't know if that's the case. I'm hoping that from now on, 20 is not going to be the typical. Uh, because this is going to be a, a hard fight and we're going to have to go back uh, and heal up after this one. But everybody's going to get experience though, um, which is cool. I mean, there's going to be a lot of, probably a lot of, yeah, Slitherpin probably went up. Yeah. Everybody earns a little bit of Bradley. Not many people to go to the Titan. Yeah. Woo! We got him. I am going to... If I go... This way, I... Oh, okay, good. That's kind of what I was hoping to get. I really don't want to be thrown into another battle. That's what I'm kind of worried about. If I go up that way, that's going to be... I have a couple that might work out. Let's see if we get thrown in no but we're out oh shoot i won't be able to i want that box too um there is her shoot i don't think i can sneak sneak by her run no that's the only one left uh-oh let's see if we can do it clarabelle has three cormon that's yeah, this is not going to be going well for sure 
Um, I'm going to hit him. Um, hoping that I get a nice hit. It's a low one. Shoot. No, we're going to just switch out. Oh, what does he have? Does he have a two? Yeah, let's go for scratch. Maybe because I'm several levels over, it's going to do a good hit. Uh, okay, we can get another. We're going to switch out. Um, let's see. Yeah, go up here. Be my baser. Uh, because he has more uh, uh, skill power. Double slash. That was very effective. I would have to agree that was very effective, and that's not good. Um, yes. Yes. Woo. That was a good one. He still has two more uh, Kormon, though, so that's that's not a good thing, really. Um, I still got Patterbelt. Gosh, slime. I think he's really to cut. If I remember correctly, but I'm not really that sure. That's not too bad. Not very effective. That's not wonderful. Disable. That's a rough one. He actually keep lightning strike. Yeah, he actually straight up disables one of my abilities for a certain amount of time. I'm going to stick with him. I forget what that does. Speeds decreased until he gets knocked out. Electric pound probably is not going to hurt him much because he has electricity. He's an electric type. Yeah, not very effective. As I'm trying, hopefully we can get one of, you know, if I can get one of these knocked out and switch over to Patterbelt, we'll be able to, that thing is hitting three times each time and that's very not good. His speed is getting slowed down too, which is not good either. Tough it up. That's helpful. I mean, I know that sounds funny, but at least he's not hitting me in a time that I'm really low on HP. And that's the that's the issue right now. Is that whatever he does to move him up. Yeah, I guess rest and try and see. Hopefully he does another something that's going to disable. Okay. What are you going to disable? If you do disable lightning strike again, slam. Okay, great. We're going to switch up to lightning. <laughs> Would you, you just disabled my uh, weakest uh, attack. Come on, lightning strike. There we go. Stuck stuff like the sticky layer, I think only slows him down for that turn. Um, or that, um, uh, battle uh but there are other things that will move uh like the other um status effects will move him down more you know stay with him um i'm gonna just stick with him until he gets knocked out i hope that we are able to nope i was hoping <laughs> wow it's down to pattern build you better be able to do this, buddy. Come on, propeller punch him in the face. Hopefully it does good. It's not gonna do like a dramatic amount and I'm gonna have to, ooh, static fur, that's interesting. Fur is static for five turns, that's really weird. Should I go ahead and rest? Now to get my propeller, I'm gonna go and rest now and get my propeller punch back. That may not be a good frost chomp. Oh, that's not good. Ugh, this is gonna be a close battle. I'm gonna get out of this with the skin of my teeth. It missed. That's very. I have in this game been very very lucky on some of these battles, and. Uh, oh, Aurora got knocked down. Sweet. That means she can't attack next turn. Um, it just, I've gotten like this one. I just got the good luck to be straight up honest. Good luck and have been able to get through by the uh, skin of my teeth, really, on some of these battles. And it's just, it's really cool. Um, 
Gore has fainted, and that is everybody in. We've got to go back. That's everybody on this in this uh, level. And usually, typically, when I a lot better at science though, 480, 428. Awesome. Um, usually, when my Coromon level up, I usually like to have them in um, like. Um, where your least leveled Cormon are first, so they'll come out first, and then I'll switch to my higher level Cormon is typically how I run it. Um, it is a little different from like uh, the uh, Pokemon games that I played where I want to go, yeah, what do I want to do? I came from there. Um, typically, uh, from the Pokemon game that I played, uh, your next in line was the one that was coming um, up no matter what. Uh, so the second one would come out no matter when your first one fainted. In this one, at least, it gives you the option. I got to flip that switch. It uh, gives you the option to choose whichever one you want to come out is the is the one so it doesn't really have to be in uh order but i do like to have them that way it just keeps it better in my mind um and i usually go in that order unless i see something that me that shows me um it's different something you know that i need this one out i'm running back to town right now uh to get everybody healed up and i'll be back when i'm up on the third level and we are back you know i really like that they uh went and made these puzzles uh, instead of having random encounters every level all the time uh, random encounters can get a little uh frustrating especially when you're trying to just get through an area and is that is what i wanted to do um Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Where am I going to end up? Okay, I wanted to go out this way. Um, so, um, sometimes, like, you're just trying to get through the area to the next stage or whatever, and, um, oh, combi cakes. How am I going to get, oh, okay, the first one is down and the rest ones are up, okay. Um, so, you know, sometimes you're just trying to get through a, a cave or a building or something and all kinds of random encounters are hitting you all the time. And it's a little frustrating because all you want to do is find the trainers or whatever you needed to defeat and then get through it. So I really like that they did puzzles in the tower instead of random encounters. It makes it a little bit easier, a little bit funner, in my opinion, because it's not as frustrating there. Well, hello there. Another challenger, please come in. Mr. Mine, hello. You're trying to reach the top of Power Tower, I assume. Well, you'll have to get past my challenge first. Ha ha ha, you better just turn back because you will never break my code. Okay. I'm not going anywhere. I'll take you up on your challenge. Ah, uh, okay, if you say so. Come, follow me then. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I will enter a code in my computer by selecting four collars. And you will try to break this code in ten tries or less. Oh, it's Mastermind! I love this game! This is the best game ever! I just slipped... I just slipped the collared fuses in your pocket. You didn't even notice that. <laughs> then how will you ever break my code? Oh, this game... I, there's, oh my, Coromon is such an awesome game. I, I, it's just, everything is just, the way they did it is so awesome. Don't give me that luck. You should be grateful. You need them to input your code. You do this by putting four fuses in the socket in this door. And then, when you want to submit a guest code, you press this red button. After which, a current will run through the door. If the correct fuses are in the correct position, the door will open. But I don't think that will happen. The screen will give you feedback on your input, but only if you guessed if the guest caller is part of my secret code. Maybe that sounds a bit too easy, huh? 
No worries, I'll take care of that. I'll give you one hit to get started. Not that it will help you, but listen carefully. Black is on the right track. White is the, a location oversight. Oh, okay. That's it. It's not too late to give up, though. Okay, so it's straight up mastermind. This is so cool. I just... I love this game. Oh, go ahead. Try all you want. You'll never break this code. Okay, so we got 10 guesses. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we could put in a green, a red, a blue, an orange, a yellow, or a purple. Okay, I'm just going to go straight down. Green, red, blue, and orange. See what happens. Oh, wow. Three of those colors are correct. That's pretty impressive, if I gotta say, but none of them are in the right spot. Um, wow, I w kinda wish I would, uh, oh, okay, so it shows them there, okay, good. Um, so let's try. Take that one out and put, oh, okay, I only have one fuse, okay, of each one. Gotcha. Okay. So let's do red, blue, orange, and yellow. Three again. You thought I'd just stay in here. I'll turn up the difficulty a bit. Ha, now you won't be able to see your previous guesses. Oh. Wow. That makes it almost. Well, I guess I could have wrote it down. There was three, I thought. I bet you. Two, two. I'm trying to see when does yellow come in that last one? I want to see if it will actually flip around to see. And I don't think it is actually flipping around. I think it's some kind of random pattern. Yellow, blue. Yeah, it's not showing. I thought it might flip through some and then actually show me the right thing at some point so we started with green here and then switched them all over and I don't even know the answer to that one was I think there was three again so I don't think reds in there I think it was three white again so let's try Blue, orange, red, and purple. I'm going to have to watch this now because one, two. So it went to two. Okay, so it went back to that. Good. So three are right here. Three are right. So orange is not the right color. Orange is not a color that's in there. And I would say. If yeah, it went down. So I think it the one of the first things you need to do is figure out the colors. Uh, I think the colors are blue. Red was in all of them. Orange was in all of them. Yellow was in the second one. So what if it's... It's not purple. I don't think it's purple. I don't think purple is one of them. 
So if it's orange, blue, and green, and yellow, orange, blue, green, yellow. Let's try that. So green goes here and yellow goes here. That should at least give me four white, I believe. No. Changes fuses and the fuses will be locked in place. Holy crap, you're just ridiculous. Um, so what if it was green and not yellow? Or orange, blue, or red and not yellow? I'm hoping to get four white at some point. Ah. Okay, we'll figure this out. I hope I still don't have 10 seconds because... So blue has not been in this first spot. So let's try blue here. That should give me a black one. Orange has not been in this spot. Okay. Green has been in two spots so far. There's two. I don't think purple is one. Because if there's three colors here, if I took out green and it was one of the colors and put in yellow and it was one of the colors, I'd still end up with three. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, I don't know. Have I tried those four colors yet? I don't, that was the original four colors. So it can't be those four colors. Yeah, this is gonna take me forever to figure out. Hopefully I can get it. This should, two blacks. That's very good. Let's do something about that. You have 20 seconds to, and then the fuse will be locked in places. Okay. So I'm gonna say blue and orange are in the right spots. Okay. Um, green and yellow. Let's do uh, green and uh, purple. I don't know. Green ever been in that one? No, it has not. Come on. Ah, oh, one? No way. Ah, oh, man. What did I switch out? Then. What did I switch? Orange is in the same. So orange can't be the, that spot. I moved green. Yellow must be the other right one. Okay, those two must be the right one. Now, is it orange has been in all four spots and not got any black until here? I guess it could be orange. Why did I think it was orange and not yellow? I only have a few guesses left. This is infuriating. Oh, I know we're going to end up running over way over there too, but I got to figure this out and see if we can get there. Um, I switched out yellow there. Now, orange could be... No, but I left blue and orange in the same spots. So if I'm going to say blue is in the right spot then yellow or green had to be also in the right spot. I don't think orange is a color. Has red been in every spot? Red has not been in this square. Um, and let's try purple over, well, purple's been in that one. If 
Okay, if purple's a color, then yeah. But orange is... Okay, let's try that. Oh, I'm getting really close. I'm pretty good at this game, I think, but... This other stuff that he's doing... Two! Oh, come on! What does this button do? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. Um, so I'm back down to two. Which two are in the right spots? Blue and yellow. I want to say blue and yellow are in the right spot. Orange. No, orange has been in every one. What if blue is not the one in the right spot? I'm going to fail this. Because two were in the right spot here. But what's the same about this one and that one? I bet you I can use an item to get over. But of course, if... What if I said purple? What if blue is... I don't know. See, that says that two of these are in the right spot and two of them... Yeah, I only have two more guesses left, too. Two of them right spot and two of the other ones are not the same, the right collar. That's the frustrating thing. Three of these are the right collars. What I should have done, I know a better way of doing this and I should have done it that way. Is orange always been except for this last one? Orange has always been a color except for this last one and it's been in every spot. And then to here. So what if we did blue and orange? Um, well, then that means blue is in the wrong spot if orange is in the right spot because this one is messed up. Blue, yellow, what if I put, but orange has been in that spot. Um, I really, 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 really don't know. Yellow has not been in this one. But I'm not sure yellow is the collar, though, is the right collar. Because three of these, I don't have any one of them or four. So I have red, but if I took out green and green was one of the callers, then this could still be right. What if blue is not right? And yellow and orange are the two right ones. Orange would be right here and then purple. So let's put, I want to say the two right here are now yellow and orange. That's the two right on this square, but now red or green and blue are both in there. So green has been in that slot, that slot, that slot but not this four slot over here. So let's put green over here. Okay. Now what goes in this spot? Two of these are right. In. So let's say blue was not, purple was, what I say, orange and yellow were the two right ones? green it has to be one of these four colors let's try red it's probably not right oh it's not even letting me see it oh did i get it 
Oh, yes! I got it! And then like the last at nine. Wow, that is so cool. Sweet. I I can't believe it. I can. Booyah, buddy. I'll take those fuses back. I can't believe it. I got it. I guess I was too easy on you. I was 100% sure that I had it wrong at the end. Uh, you got lucky, but next time it will be even harder. You won't be me again. Just you wait. So yeah, just barely. I got it on the ninth guess. Ooh, let's go over sneak behind this guy and see what this is. We're going to go up and if it's a uh, quick up here to grab that essence, I'm hoping. No, another level. We'll come back and explore level four next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Go check this game out. The dem demo is available on Steam. It is amazing fun. Thank you and bye everybody.